everyone, it's Grocery Haul Day. Today we went to Walmart and Ingles. This is an old school Walmart that is not a super center. So they have very limited grocery items and they also have an Ingles next door to them. So we went there as well. If you would like to see the meal plan that all of the groceries in this haul will be shown in, uh, click the join button below for a membership only post, 99 cents a month and above. Should get you breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and snack for a family of six for one full week. And we try to do four a month unless like we're traveling or something and then we usually include clips of what we're having for food in the halls or in the videos and we also usually do like a travel haul but today I'm gonna to be showing a week of mostly at home but also it's our kids school winter break uh, we're taking winter break this week because we have two birthdays this week so we did pick up one pack of the shrimp flavored ramen noodles it's one of our favorite uh, multi-packs they do a lot of the individual cups usually don't do a lot of shrimp so we do shrimp um, for like lunches and dinners we also picked up one strawberry pineapple smash mio the tropical fusion and the aki berry storm even though it's not a super center they do have mios and they're cheaper than our super centers mios are in the next city over really strange um, we picked up two kinds of the chunky campbell soup smoked turkey with white and wild rice was one we tried last week that they carry at this walmart and we really liked it and this is one i usually buy from aldi but we haven't made it to aldi in forever chicken and sausage gumbo we also picked up one instant with the shrimp two hot and spicy beef and two hot and spicy chicken i actually didn't need all of those for this week but i went ahead and bought that many anyways two packs of the mccormick chili seasoning six cans of light red kidney beans um we also have one massive bag of fiesta blend cheese it's one of the funny things about an old school walmart having groceries like they've obviously added grocery aisles to this one and they have very limited groceries like very very few flavors of coffee creamer but they sure do have fiesta blend cheese at their store but also they have like very limited amount of tortillas it's such a strange store. Two gallons of 2% milk. We also have one half gallon of Fairlife milk. And I think, yep, to finish off Walmart, we have one container of lemon juice. And that is it from Walmart. Now we're going to switch over to Ingalls. It's on the same table plus one more counter. Uh, Laura Lynn is the Ingalls brand. We picked up three boxes of the deluxe shells and cheese. We also have two boxes of Quaker oatmeal grits because the only uh, store brand grits they had for their store was like cook on the stove and the purpose of having instant grits is to make it easy breakfast but you all heard me talk about when I first started purchasing grits for the kids in the instant packages for easy breakfast for school days that I wish they still had the variety packs that they had when I was a kid Ingles does Ingles has a variety box that has a mix of original cheddar bacon and butter flavored grits so um that's something i'm gonna be looking forward to getting another time but just for this week i went ahead and just picked up the original because uh hopefully you will be seeing a sam's club haul tomorrow of why i did not get a variety box of grits for this week also this ingles is amazing for like they're not great for coffee supply but they have more tea than they do coffee so twinnings is a brand that we tried whenever we bought one of our kids a um a small thermos for like hot like tea that's perfect for like one tea bag worth of tea in it and she also got a variety pack of tea to go with that thermos for christmas one year twinnings was a brand that we tried during that time and so when i saw twinnings i was like yeah let's try it because we, we know we like the brand and they had oolong tea and i wanted her to try this one because she she's a huge connoisseur of tea so i want to try that one and then this one is a favorite of matt's that i bought for him and some of us like it as well too but i specifically bought that for him we also have one container of the campbell's tomato juice and honestly it was cheaper than their store brand and it was a smaller container and i only need that size container for the recipe that i'm going to use that recipe will be linked up here and then you'll see on the meal plan where it'll be used and how we're using it twice. We also picked up one box of their brand of the unsalted butter. Three pepper and onion blend. Okay, so when I normally get the California Tri Medley thing from, or Cal, I don't even think it says Tri, it says Medley. From Aldi, it's cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. This one has squash and cracked pepper seasoning. And I didn't realize that when I bought it last time, but everybody liked it. So we bought it again. We also picked up two bags of their steamable broccolis. Now, these did not come in um, steam bags, but that's okay because I didn't need it to be. 
Another thing that's cool about um, a lot of stores in Tennessee is that they have this what's called Tennessee Pride. And normally they're sausage patties, but not everybody in my family is a huge fan of sausage. So instead, I bought chicken and buttermilk biscuits. So these biscuits are super tiny. They're great for our size family. And if uh, somebody needs more, we can do more. Or like if everybody just wants one, they can have just one. We also picked up two bags of the Tyson Honey Breast Tenders. Four cans of the Laurel Lynn green beans, no salt added. It's been a while since I've done Laurel Lynn canned green or canned vegetables. So we'll see if the Laurel Lynn brand is good. And if it's not, and when I say good, like I don't like when store brands add a lot of like the filler junk pieces that you can't eat, like stems and pieces like that into their canned goods. And that's why some brands I'll avoid. So we'll try Laurel Lynn and see if they do that. And if not, we may switch back to getting more from them um, whenever I do the Ingalls hauls. We also picked up two bags of the Orida Extra Crispy Seasoned Crinkles. This is actually one of my favorite name brands for fries. I love the way that they do in the air fryer. They cook up really well. And like I've said before, seasoned fries are the same price as non-seasoned fries, but then you're not having to pay for the seasoned salt on top of it. So that works out. Pieces from Ingles were interesting. They didn't carry a lot of variety. They really didn't. But this California Pizza Kitchen had no red sauce pizzas this one's barbecue so i'm gonna be wary of it try a little bit of it um if not then i'll give mine to matt but this is the barbecue chicken recipe it has chicken red onion cilantro mozzarella hickory smoked goita cheese and barbecue sauce on it the next one is the sicilian one it's italian sausage spicy ham genoa salami sweet basil mozzarella and font Fontina cheeses on marinara sauce. Oh, that's marinara. I thought that was a white sauce pizza. That was why I bought this brand. That was a buying fail. It's okay. They actually had another white sauce when I put back, but it's okay. This one is DiGiorno croissant crust. It's supposed to be flaky and buttery crust. And we have made pieces on croissants before. So we'll see if these are really good too. But this is a flaky and buttery four cheese DiGiorno pizza. We also picked up one large container of coleslaw, two two liters of Coke Zero, one berry whipped cheesecake for one of my birthday girls for this week. This was a salsa. Okay. Have any of you ever been, not Sam's, not Costco, like a normal grocery store that does samples? Because this one did samples and they were doing samples of this. And the kids loved it. And it was lunchtime. And mom forgot to do lunch before Ingles. Actually, I was going to buy lunch from Ingles, and then we ended up not. But, because they actually have a really good deli section. But I didn't. And I regret it because we spent more on groceries because everybody was hungry. But yeah, so I bought that for them. Two dozen eggs. And I know y'all were already probably shouting in the comment section, You forgot to show the chips! And I just remembered whenever I saw the salsa. Or, yeah, the salsa. So, there's the chips. Mission Tortilla Strips. I love these because to me they taste the most like actual like Mexican restaurant chips. Okay, and that's it for today's grocery haul. Thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos. And don't forget that you can join by clicking that join button below. And again, membership starting at 99 cents a month and above. And help us to continue making these videos. And even if you can't afford a membership right now, that's okay. We are so thankful for every single person who watches, who likes, does positive comments, and subscribes. And we will see all of you next time. Bye.